I came to Oberlin in February. So the weather was pretty grim um, and I was a little demoralized uh, and feeling a little homesick until I went to the Allen Memorial Art Museum and I realized, oh, this is going to be okay. What's so great about the Oberlin experience is because you can walk into the museum anytime. After a while, I became really familiar with some of these things. In fact, it's sort of a cool thing coming back to Oberlin from time to time you see these old friends and uh, of course now that I know something about them I have a lot more respect for them as well. One of the things that people say about museums like ours, the ones that are in the college or university setting, they often describe it as, as the jewel of the campus or the treasure of the campus and somehow that while it's a wonderful expression, it lessens the value in a way because the museum is not an accessory to Oberlin College. The museum is critical to Oberlin College and to the lives and work of students here in so many disciplines, not just in the arts. We look at both some of the more traditional art that's on display at the museum, but also um, some art that is in storage, and that is really helpful to really tie together what they're learning. You know, I might have like a certain idea in my head of what we want to do as a class. And then, you know, like if I'll talk to like Liliana, um, it's like, oh, I have this perfect piece. And like, how do you have this like random <laughs> thing that fits in so perfectly with what I'm doing in my class? And I've heard that from other science faculty as well. The Allen in its 100 year history has been really fortunate to benefit from incredibly intelligent, dedicated, energetic and creative people in all of these different categories. They have helped to build the excellent collection which now numbers more than 15,000 works of art that are in all media that span many, many of the world's cultures and span 6,000 years. And they are the same people who helped to have the foresight and the vision uh, to raise the money for, at first, our Cass Gilbert building and then the Robert Venturi edition. So it's really the people that have created this space where the collection can flourish, where the buildings were built, and where we can now take all of our wonderful assets and be an educational asset to this community. There's a feeling of ownership here, no matter where you go. Sitting at the desk, it's fun for me to see the people who walk in. They're from across the town, across the street. And you know, one of the nice things is when somebody leaves and says, how long is this exhibit open? And you know that they're going to come back and bring a friend. One of the most wonderful things about this museum is its intimacy. You know, you go to a big city museum and you walk a quarter of a mile before you see a work of art often. Here you walk in the door and there's some fabulous work of art within 10 seconds of your walking in the door, whatever door you use. The intimacy is really incredible. And, you know, the breadth and depth, there are things of extraordinary quality here. And from all times and all cultures, you know, you're really living in a way with the art because of that intimacy. And of course, there's the rental collection where you're literally living with the art. I certainly had a, a piece of art from the rental collection in my apartment every semester that I was here. I was living with an original work of art, and that meant so much to me. Not only does it give the student the opportunity to live with a real work of art, but you're telling that student that you trust them. In 2017, I think the most remarkable thing about the museum is that there's every reason to be confident its greatest success is ahead of it. That it's at a tremendously strong moment now, curatorially, collection-wise, and in its engagement with the curriculum as a whole, more classroom visits than ever before. So that there's every reason to believe the second century starts at the moment the museum is at its strongest. What was most special to me about the experience working at the Allen was that I worked in several different capacities. I started as a docent and then I went on to work in the education department. Eventually I started in the print study room and I think that upon graduating and seeking positions in other museums made it 
so much easier for me to kind of single out the roles that I wanted and that I felt most excited about to be working in. The Allen was one of the biggest draws of Oberlin for me and has continued to remain that way throughout my time here. I remember first visiting as a prospective student. I was just absolutely in awe and thought how lucky an institution like this was to have this as a resource. You know, one of the other things that we're so proud of at the museum is what our Oberlin College students are able to learn while they're at the museum. They're not simply learning about art history, they're learning other really important skills. Critical thinking, evidentiary reasoning, they're being able to speak publicly in some classes in front of the art, to do writing assignments with relationship to the art, and our staff have been really creative in how they've been working with students and faculty to get them across disciplines into the sciences, the social sciences, and the humanities, as well as the conservatory, to use the collection and teaching, which is really why we're here. I think museums are essential as gathering places where people can come together and exchange ideas with one another and have a window into other times and places and other cultures. Museums are where we all come to understand our common humanity. We all own this place. We, we really feel a sense of ownership in Oberlin to this place. But we, we also have reached out to the world. So I think maybe that is one of the outstanding things. I'd celebrate.